Hi, my name is Damien Carney and I'm Joyco's International Artistic Director and welcome to my Drab to Fab series where you'll get tips, tricks, techniques that will make your hair look gorgeous no matter what texture, what length, what style. I've got two beautiful women standing next to me, but one's an actress, she's a fashionista, she oozes style, and it is the incredible Ashley Medekwe. Thank you. I'm really excited about this next look. It's the one that everybody asks for, relaxed, beachy waves, the kind of style that you can wear all day long, take from day to night, and it's great for the summer. How are you gonna do it? Well, it's interesting because Nicole's hair is a perfect candidate. It's like, well, look at the ends of her hair. It looks like she's been in the sun anyway. Yeah, it's really nice. So what we're gonna do is quite simply use a real simple method now you don't need to be an expert I think sometimes when it's mixed up and it doesn't look so perfect I think it actually looks perfect so we're gonna use the tool that's gonna to give waves from here down very very simple very relaxed very clean and it's good for everybody so girls I think we're ready to rock don't okay. you we're gonna work with our hair and we'll join you in a bit well, here we are back with Nicole. And remember that basically with Nicole's look, what we're doing is creating a kind of soft beachy look that I think is very, very popular and very easy to do. You don't need to be a perfectionist. In fact, a little bit of the imperfectionist actually makes it quite perfect. So what I did is I prepared the hair. We shampooed and conditioned with Joico's K-Pack. Excellent for adding moisture and reconstructing the hair. And then secondly, what I did is to apply some of our Power Whip, which is an incredible firm holding, but yet very, very flexible uh, foundation for restyling with heated tools. The third product that I'm going to use is my favorite. It is the Power Spray. And it's a workable spray that you can use as a spray or use as any heated tool. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Best secret that I can give through here is working your sections a little bit on a diagonal as you're working through. But they're going to be really quite large because all I want to do is take my section from the top of the ear all the way to the bottom. I'm going to section that hair off, give that a little comb through so you've got a little bit of control. So what I'm doing is using a little bit of the um, power spray and I'm just peppering the hair. All that does is just simply add a little bit of texture, a little bit of uh, flexibility when it kind of comes to the ironing work. I'm going to go in with the iron. The most important thing is just to wrap and feed the hair around. Keep the iron moving. Now, in some cases, what you're going to find is, is that the ends pop out a little bit. I personally like that. I don't like all of my ends actually being in exactly the same place. So you can feed some of them through. In this case, I'm leaving some of them out. Allow the hair to heat up, and I'll simply take the iron out, work that through, and then I'll proceed and move forward. There you go. So all you're doing is creating a little bit of a squiggle that basically adds a little bit of movement. Keep in mind that what's going to happen is you're going to lose probably at least 30% of your movement an hour or two later. So a little bit of firmness, keep in mind that you just want a very, very soft result. My next section is really just repeating it and I'll show you the entire section complete. So there we have it, the last kind of um, section. Keep and be very mindful that the movement that you have really is very soft. Sometimes what I do if the hair's prone to curling very well, while this is still warm, I'll stretch it and allow it to loosen up a little bit more. So what happens next? It's really choosing something that basically is gonna loosen up the hair. You could start off by A, using your fingers just to break it up. And don't be frightened of really giving that hair a good tug through. Remember, you don't really want to see any evidence that the iron has been present. What you want to do is to create a very kind of natural texture that kind of mimics hair that has natural body or wave. So I'm choosing to opt for loosening it up with a large flat bristle brush. And don't be frightened of really breaking it up. If you've set it quite well with the heat from your iron, you'll find that the movement really will work through quite easy. Keep in mind that I really want the hair to have really just a curve through it, not overly curly or anything else. So what I'm doing is using my instant refresh, zero hold, control the oil, make sure your hair is refreshed. And this is excellent for it the next day, when you maybe could skip a shampoo. I love it because not only does it refresh the hair, it sometimes brings a little bit of energy back and you can see that separation. I think you're ready for your complete look. We're gonna to go to wardrobe, we're gonna see her look amazing from the top of her head to the tip of her toes. We're back with Nicole who has her new hair look. This is especially gorgeous, I love this. It's very relaxed, which is what I like in a hairstyle. Um, she's got big, loose waves, great for day to night. And we've styled her with some denim on denim, which is really on trend right now. And I'd feel comfortable wearing this down the street in the afternoon, and I'd also take it straight to the club. Wow, you girls have nailed it, especially you, Ashley. I love the denim. And it really works really well with the volume that's down at the lower part of mm. the face. That's what makes it really modern. Oh, how Vol chic fun. Exactly. She, you know, off she goes to the country fair. 
<laughs> the reality is it's really easy, everybody. All you do with the stroke of an iron and a couple of big sections and you get magic instantly. It's quick, 15 minutes and you're done. It really shouldn't be any more complicated than that. No. So there you go. That's our Drab to Fab series on this one. I think you girls look amazing. And I look forward to seeing you on our next series. Check the website out, Drab to Fab. We're checking out here on the girls. Bye. Bye.